Hey, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Luke and I serve as one of the coaches in Worship Ministry School. I recently had the opportunity to head to Austin, Texas to do an on-site visit with Lindsay Wilkerson, one of our students in the Accelerator program and her church, Agape Christian Ministries. Agape Christian Ministries meets in a strip mall and previously had a few other congregations spread throughout Texas, but have since consolidated to one location, which meant that there was a lot of gear and they had some specific goals when they started working with our team. One of the first goals was to update their speakers for their worship center. Their previous speakers were honestly a little bit too big and a bit of overkill for the size space that they had. So we went with the Martin Blackline series of speakers and we used the X12 passive speakers. And initially on this trip, we simply placed them on sticks to determine the best coverage, but they may end up hanging the speakers at a later date. The challenge with this room is that it is not traditionally shaped. Being in a strip mall, there are back of house spaces for the other retailers that are on opposite sides of the church. So it is unconventionally shaped in the worship center. There's a little jut out on the left-hand side that actually completely blocks the left speaker from front of house's viewpoint. So it was important to have the speakers on sticks so that we could really test the coverage and walk around the room and get it set in a really optimal way for the space that they have before we actually place them in permanent positions. These speakers are really impressive for how little of a footprint they take up. They sounded extremely clean, very nice highs, and were able to get great sound right out of the box. I really enjoyed working with them, and I think they fit the needs of the room really well, even with the spatial challenges. They are also upgrading their subs to the Martin Blackline X118s, but there was a shipping delay, so they'll implement the subs at a later date. Now, when it comes to their audio console, they were mixing on an older Roland console and had stage wedges that in a small room was creating a lot of feedback and noise during their gatherings. Lindsay opted for the Behringer Wing console for their front of house mixer. So we got to work ahead of time on their show file using their input list that we helped them create in worship ministry school so that we configured the wing snapshot so that when I showed up on site, I easily popped in the thumb drive loaded the snapshot file, and we were up and running and ready for rehearsal. One of their goals was to shift their entire ministry to in-ear monitors to clean up the band area and reduce stage volume with the goal of allowing the vocalist to be wireless. So that's three really big goals just in and of themselves. They want to move to in-ears that will simplify what's on stage. No more big clunky stage wedges. It's going to reduce stage volume, but they have anywhere from five to eight vocalists at any given point during their services. So it's a lot of vocalists to provide in-ear monitor solutions for, especially when their vocalists move, they transition from place to place, and they really do need to be wireless with this setup because there's not enough room on the stage to put individual P16 units where it wouldn't be a distraction or look super cluttered. So we deployed a combination of the P16 units for the back line and band along with the new Sennheiser XSW units for the praise team vocalists. This allowed us to get enough units for their large team without breaking the bank. The XSW units were super easy to get up and running and sound incredible right out of the box. And for the price point, you really can't beat it. So we ended up running two stereo XSW in-ear monitor units for any kind of dominant leaders of the team that week. And then the rest of them, we were able to spread out into mono mixes. So having two XLR inputs on the back of these receivers allows for two mono mix buses from the board. So it actually was able to cover all of the vocalists that they needed and everybody gets their own unique mix. And because the P16 units can be mounted to a lot of stand configuration, it's easy to not add a bunch of clutter to the stage area, which in this building can get a little crammed at times with their larger team in a smaller space. The vocalists were able to use the Wing Q app to mix their own mix bus, and the band loved having the control over the individual channels on the P16 rather than a stage wedge mix. I want to exhort the team at Agape Christian Ministries because they had never used in-ear monitors before. They had never used headphones before for a headphone mix, and they came in like champs and all got up and running in one night of rehearsal. They didn't have a long on-ramp or lots of training. We spent about 
30 minutes at the beginning of rehearsal, helping them dial in their mix, teaching them how to configure the app and get faders where they needed to be for their ears to be comfortable. And then we walked through a little bit of in-ear monitor etiquette and what you should be looking for with an in-ear monitor mix. Because it was so new, I anticipated that it would take a lot of our rehearsal time and that there would be tons of questions over the course of the evening. Besides a few minor questions at the beginning of rehearsal, the team adopted it and we were rehearsing very quickly. Before we continue on with the video, a quick word from our sponsor, the Worship Ministry School Accelerator Program. You may not know this, but in addition to all the YouTube content we're creating here at Churchfront, we also partner with local church worship and production ministries to help them hit their ministry goals. Over the past four years, we've worked personally with hundreds of worship ministries around the globe. We've helped churches navigate upgrading their worship tech, building better systems, systems to grow their team of volunteers, as well as address any knowledge or skill gaps required for modern day worship ministry. When you join the Accelerator program, you get access to our entire library of online on-demand courses, and you get unlimited access to our team of Churchfront coaches. To learn more about joining the program, click the link below this video to apply and schedule your free strategy session today. Now let's get back to the video. When it comes to broadcast, this will be a multi-phase rollout. Agape Christian Ministries, like many other churches during COVID, invested into their live stream and they allocated a room next to their stage to run Wirecast on a PC. And they had an A10 Mini for switching inputs. They were running Easy Worship as one of their presentation inputs and they also had a PTZ camera for their camera input. And they wanted to upgrade their camera quality and transition to a Mac ecosystem for ease of use and some more display flexibility moving forward. So while I was on site, we were able to commission the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4Ks, which were a great solution for them. This is such a great camera right out of the box. And I personally loved how easy it was to get up and running with the touchscreen. And I think it'll be a really volunteer friendly camera as they get their team up and running with it. But one of the pain points was that they just didn't have a lot of volunteers running these things. And they hated how cumbersome some of the systems were when it came to the wiring and signal flow and where things were going in their building. So we made the decision to move the A10 Mini to the front of house booth for now for easy control and communication instead of being in a different room with no comms system available. We also made the decision to stream through ProPresenter. So we moved to streaming through ProPresenter and they had wanted to move away from Easy Worship for a while. They love the efficiency that ProPresenter offers when it comes to getting your in-house screens to look a certain way, your confidence monitor to look a certain way, and your live stream to be configured in a certain way, all with the click of a macro utilizing the looks functionality. When we switched to ProPresenter, the volunteers were honestly shocked and kept commenting about how clean the audio was coming into it, and they were able to hear much better than they had previously been able to. So I'm glad that they are happy with the results of switching to streaming through ProPresenter. We implemented a Dante expansion card with the wing for future flexibility of sending audio to different rooms in the church, like the pastor's office. So now their audio is ready for a lot of things using the Dante network. They're able to do virtual sound check and record all of their inputs to train audio volunteers. They're able to go into ProPresenter for broadcast audio, and they're ready to scale into the rest of the building all over a simple network connection. Currently, they're running a Crestron 8x8 matrix, which is a piece of gear that has HDMI to Ethernet converter cards in a sort of PC body that runs their video feed throughout their building. But the problem is that nobody knows how to use it and it's a pretty bulky piece of gear that takes up a significant amount of space in their front of house booth. And there's a lot of wires coming into it. They're not labeled properly, so nobody really knows where the signal flow is going or how to troubleshoot if something were to go wrong. And so their next phase will most likely be to move to something like an ATEM constellation that provides the ease of inputs and outputs on that switcher. We love this because it kind of functions as a two-in-one switcher and router at the same time. So they'll be able to get signal from ProPresenter to all their different screens. They'll be able to send a feed into the pastor's office and the lobby TVs. They'll be able to send signals basically wherever they need to, all with probably 75% less of the space 
consumption with uh, ATEM Constellation being a rack mountable unit. It's very small, it's concise, it's efficient, it doesn't take up any space there on the desk. And then if we run SDI cable, it will all be really reliable signal to and from rather than being converted a bunch back and forth between long HDMI runs from place to place. Overall, this trip was an awesome time. Their vocalists on their praise team are some of the most talented people I have ever heard. Their band truly plays with soul and plays with passion and was so fun to worship with. I'm really glad they have a clean sound system that allows for personal control and eliminates all the stage noise in that small room. As they move forward, Lindsay and her team will continue to tidy up cable, simplify the systems, and lean into training new team members. They did a great job, and I'm really excited to see what progress they make as Lindsay wraps up her time in the Accelerator program in the next two months. That's a huge benefit of these site visits, that even after the visit is over, we maintain a relationship and have the systems to remote into their gear at the church because there's always stuff we can improve on and adjust moving forward. So in the future, I'll help their team make some custom screen layouts in ProPresenter and continue to refine the wing snapshot as they keep using it week to week and find ways to streamline their workflow. A couple things I took away from this trip is the importance of labeling and documenting systems. When a lot of people have their hands in the pot of building these systems, everybody can kind of build things in their own unique way. And there's not always a simplified, detailed system that basically tells people how things are configured. So our team will work with Lindsay to get a Notion team database up and running where everything is documented and diagrams show where signals are going for references in the future. This church was already doing great ministry work and now they will be able to continue to build on that in the coming months and years to come. If you want our team's help to come alongside you in your ministry in person or online to accomplish your goals or implement new gear or get clarity on what gear you need, go ahead and schedule a call with our coaches today by visiting the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.